Welcome to Live Devotions. I'm Robert Mosbach. Today I would like to share a part out of the book that I've been writing with Christ at the throne of God. It's about living from above, being fed with the life and the love of the Son of God. You know, in John chapter 17, verse 26, Jesus said, And I have declared to them your name, that means your character, your goodness, and I will declare it, that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in them. There is only so much you can do, even if you're the most generous person. But look at Jesus who went beyond all human limitations, demonstrating God's love. This same love that enabled him is now being poured into your heart by the Holy Spirit so that you can love as he loves and far exceed your abilities. God would have you live in such a grace where his ability becomes your ability where you dare to say with Jesus, nothing is impossible, for with God all things are possible. Sure, there are moments when you feel so very human and limited that you may say with Jesus, I can do nothing. That's what he said in John 5 verse 19. But as you feel powerless and unable, don't despair, for as you know, as you make known to God your needs and trust Him for the answers, He Himself will move in you with His love to bring about the answers. You see, this moving of God's love in you is what the Bible calls compassion, which can cause all the natural to become subject to the supernatural. Jesus said He could do nothing if He were not moved by God's love. He lived in it and from it He was able to do the impossible. So with the Holy Spirit's help, follow God's example in everything you do, just as a much-loved child imitates his father. Be full of love for others. Follow the example of Christ who loved you and gave himself to God as a sacrifice to take away your sins. And God was pleased, for Christ's love for you was like sweet perfume to him. You know, I've thought about that scripture in Ephesians 5 verse 2 so often that when Christ gave himself for us, his love for us was like sweet perfume to the Father. I must admit, I haven't always smelled like sweet perfume. You know, it's interesting, in the Old Testament, the priests had to put on linen clothing, which prevented them from sweating while they were serving the Lord. And that was a real message that God was trying to give. It's not by your effort and by your strength that you will bring about my blessings. It's, about my, it's by my grace and by my goodness by which you will be the source of my blessings. So many times we try so hard and then we get so disappointed when it's not appreciated, when it's not recognized, when it's not uh, received. And that can be so hurtful. You can feel so betrayed when you've done so much for people and they don't acknowledge it or they act like it meant nothing or didn't realize it. But I want to encourage you, friends, don't live to please man, live to please God. And as you live to please God, He will move through you and in you with His love to become a source of blessings to others. And then you will know that whatever good flows from you is not of yourself, it's not by your efforts, it's not by your good intentions, but it's by God's love moving in you by the Holy Spirit. I look forward to share this book with you soon so that you can daily partake of the heavenly life of the Son of God and realize how much is available to you. I look forward to the next devotion to share about the riches of His glory. We love you and we bless you and we believe in you. Shall we pray together? Heavenly Father, you are the source of everything and more than we could have ever asked for. You give us such goodness and such grace to become a source of your blessing. And I thank you, Lord, that it's not based on my abilities and talents, but it's based on your rich resources of love and kindness. Bless my friends, Lord, as they hear your word today in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.